Hi, good morning everybody. Uh, today we're going to be working on this, uh, it's a 4-in-1 leaf mulcher. Um, it belongs to a friend of mine. He called me the other day. Uh, what he did was he advertised it without making sure it started up and ran and the power drive worked. And he called me up He said somebody came to look at it and it wouldn't start. And what it was, was, I'll show you exactly what it was. What you have here is you have a, a safety right here. If this button isn't pushed down all the way, it won't start. It breaks, when the button is up, it just breaks contact with the magneto. It grinds the magneto out. It's a safety feature, and I was able to fix that. That's the first thing you want to look at. I've had lots of these do this, and on the bagger here, let me get this bagger out. Where the bagger connects to the back part that I just showed you, this metal plate here pushes the button down. And this plate was bent up, so it wasn't put, pushing the button down. Okay, so I solved that problem. We got it started. And then he went to uh, drive it, and it wouldn't move. So what I did was, there's a cover here, which we'll get to, because I'm going to video, you know, the reassembly of this. I took the cover off. And it had a mouse nest in there. And what the, the mice did was they chewed the belt in two places all the way through. So I had to order a belt for it, which I just picked up this morning. And we're going to reassemble it. Um, don't advertise anything unless you make sure it works. Because once the guy got there, the thing wouldn't even start. Forget about move, it wouldn't move or anything. So we're going to continue this in a minute. I'm going to get situated and I'm going to show you exactly what it took to uh, get this thing apart. I had to take every single thing apart on this. Now what it has is, it has an impeller. It doesn't have a blade like a regular lawnmower. Like to change the drive belt on a lawnmower it takes practically no time at all. But it has this impeller. And on top of, of the impeller, you have the pulley, which the belt rides on for the power drive. So I had to disassemble everything. I, first, I had to take this cover off. Before that, I had to take all the wheels off and everything like that. And then I got to this point here where I had to take this metal shroud down to gain access to the to this uh, auger assembly or mulcher assembly, whatever you want to call it. And I also had to drop the transmission out of it here in order to uh, get the cover off to clear. So more or less I had to take the whole thing apart. Everything has to come off on this. So we're going to get to the reassembly in a moment. Okay, what I did so far is I had to take this whole pulley assembly. There's a bolt right here. I had to take the whole thing off because this is a nut and a bolt. And you have to get these guides. There's uh, two guides, belt guides on there that you have to take off to route the belt. And then what I did was I took the belt and I stuck it through the whole housing in here. Like so. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take this impeller here. Start sliding it onto the uh, shaft here, which this shaft has no keyway. 
you just bolt it on. I, I don't know what's up with that, but I mean, there's not even a spot for a keyway or anything on this crankshaft. So I'm going to uh, try to get the impeller up in place. And then I'm going to put the uh, metal cover on the bottom with a couple of bolts. And then I'm going to bolt the transmission back up. And we're going to see if it works. Hello again, everybody. As you saw in the last video, where I was putting the multi blade on, I, I had the belt where it was sticking down, and I was going to put the belt onto the pulley and push the whole thing up. Well, that couldn't be done. So what I did was I had the multi blade off, and I took the belt here, and I just pushed it in pretty far in. Then I put the impeller multi blade back up and I bolted it in and I was able to pull this belt back enough to where it was it's around the pulley this I had a lot of trouble with uh, right here the belt tensioner assembly pulley assembly whatever you want to call it as I uh, told you before I had the mounting bolt for this whole thing off and then I had to take off these guides and then um, once I had the guides off, I routed the belt the way it was supposed to go on there. But what happened was the spring here, the tensioner spring, came off in there. It was a little, little bit of a pain to put back on, but not too bad, though. But I was able to get that back on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bolt the transmission back up. And I'm going to put this around the pulley here, the transmission pulley. And we're going to see if everything is okay to where I can put the rest of this thing back together. Okay. Stand by. Okay, I just caught myself. Before you, the whole reason why I took the transmission down was to get this uh, housing off. So I caught myself and I didn't bolt the transmission back up. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to uh, mount this. Uh, cover back on the metal cover and then we're going to bolt the transmission up Okay, I put a couple of bolts in the uh, metal cover underneath the ones that are uh, like towards the back here just to get the cover up and It has this other piece in here that you have to slide in there and it's a real long nut and bolt that goes through here I made sure that I put that one in and then it has a just a bolt on the outside here that holds the other part in I guess during the mulching process I, it goes through here whatever however it works I don't know and um, also with the transmission here I'm able to put the transmission back up but this was just not notched out I notched it out so you could drop the transmission down I know it's not going to ruin the integrity of the uh, chassis because this has a bushing here that slides over the axle. So this way the axle is not going to walk around or anything like that. So right now I'm in the middle of putting the transmission. I'm in, in the middle of bolting that back up and I'm going to put this bracket on. Well, I'm not going to put this bracket on. I'm going to bolt the transmission up and make sure that I can get the belt onto this big pulley here. Okay. So, I got the transmission mounted back up. And then, I put the, uh, I stuck the belt back on there. Tensioner, everything seems to be alright. I disconnected, I took the spark plug uh, boot off, the spark plug wire. Even though I told you it has this safety over here, right here. So it won't start anyway, but just to be safe, just take the spark plug wire off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the uh, power drive lever and I'm going to spin. And everything seems to be okay. The belt is on the pulleys. 
and it's working nice. So now I have to uh, hook up all the, I got to put all the uh, drive shaft, power drive gears back on and everything like that and the wheels. I still have to put some bolts in this uh, housing down here, the uh, metal housing. And then we have the, uh, I'll just carry the whole thing over here. We're starting to run out of parts. Then I have to put the plastic cover back on. Then I have to put the wheels back on. The reason why I have to take the wheels off that it has these brackets to go across the whole bottom. I don't know. Well, I, they're there. I'm going to put them back. I don't know what they're there for, but they're, they're there. It just makes it so you have to take more stuff apart. These are the rear rear wheels with the gears in them. So I have to put this back on and put this other bar and whatnot back on. And um, I'll be back with you shortly. Oh, another thing. When you're taking these apart, I had to turn it sideways and all that. So what I did was I took the air cleaner housing off in case it leaked gas or oil so I wouldn't go into your air filter. Okay, I put this, uh, I don't know if you can even see it. Yeah, you can. I put this outer piece back on over the axle here. The transmission's all bolted up. I put the rest of the bolts in, into this bottom metal housing. And now we're going to put this uh, plastic one, the bolts up underneath. And after that, then I could put the uh, gears back on the the uh, transmission, put the wheels back on, put the front wheels back on with those brackets. And I think I forgot to mention it. This is a um, it's a Craftsman four in one. They're pretty good machines, but putting a belt on it is like you got to take the whole thing apart. When you put this back up, you have to make sure this flapper is not all the way up like this. It has to be down where the spring action is. Otherwise, it's not going to work. I'm sorry about the camera because I have it on the, on the uh, tripod. I don't feel like taking it off right now. Because uh, then I'd have to take my gloves off. So, um, As I keep putting it together, I will show you what I did. Okay, now <clears throat> now I'm ready to put the uh, back wheels on, but I have to put the gears on first. And <clears throat> an important thing, these dust covers, I forgot, I've done it and forgot to put these back on and put everything together. And so I'm laying there and then had to take everything back apart again. So make sure you put your uh, dust covers on first before you put the pin through the shaft here and the gear on and the retaining clip. Okay, here it is, all back together. I put the bottom uh, plastic shroud on. I put the gears on the axles. Put the wheels back on. I put the mouse house back on, the belt cover. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the belt to it. And probably take it out into the small field here. And we're going to try it. We're going to start it up and see if it works. Okay, I'm going to try it for full choke. See what we got.
Okay, everybody, it works. Hate to see what the dealer would charge for this. I lost the hubcap on the way. It's laying right there. I try and bang it back on there. And that's it. Just reverse uh, procedure from the way I put it back together. I wish I could have filmed the whole thing, but I don't think anybody wants to watch an hour and a half of this. But until next time, thanks for watching.